so hello and welcome back guys so guys in today's video i will teach you how to use canvas for node.js because it is node canvas which i'm teaching and it is almost similar to our html canvas so let's begin so guys first of all we will install it well i already installed it with npm i canvas and let me remove this uh, it was a rip failure while recording so first of all we are just gonna get these two functions from our canvas module they are create canvas and load image so i will make everything real quick so that i can teach you as much as i can in this single video so we will create the canvas using this function and first of all we will provide the width width will be let let it be uh let me think uh well let's make it 1200 and let's make it 700 the height the height is 700 and width is 1200 so now we need to get the context for that we will just do const ctx is equals to canvas dot get context and of course it will be 2d so let's begin so ctx is where the thing with which we create stuff and do all of the things so i will start by adding some background so well to be honest i will just do ctx dot fill style is equals to let me think fill style let's make it uh, let's make it blue well blue will be bad to be honest let's just make it white bam and just do ctx dot fill rectangle it just creates a rectangle and x axis will be zero y axis will be zero so that it is from the beginning and width will be equal to the width of our canvas and height will be equal to height of our canvas simple so that's how we create and i hope you guys know about axis thing well like how x axis y axis stuff works how do we get the coordinates i think you guys know bit of maths and if you do not do not worry i will tell you most of the stuff and now let's add some text so first of all i will just do ctx.fill style to black bang so guys we can type text in two ways first of all we can just fill text it will be fill text let me do this fill text and apart from that and by the way whenever you are writing text you have to provide the coordinates where you want to show the text so let's put 600 and the y axis will be let me think y axis will be uh, what can it be let's make it 400 okay pretty simple and pretty easy let me pause the recording for a second so now we will stroke some text for that we are just gonna do ctx dot dot stroke text stroke text and it will be stroked text and the coordinates will be x axis will be 600 and y will be 450 so that text do not overlap each other and by the way guys we can do few more stuff like adding maximum width for example let it be 80 so this text cannot cross the limit of 80 pixels and apart from that guys we can do another thing we can just make our text centered by doing ctx dot text align is equals to center uh, is equals to center now let me show you how you are supposed to create the image for that well to be honest we can get this image to buffer data by using this function but we have to send this thing to our discord so how to do that we will just do const image is equals to new message attachment and we are going to get this class from our discord js and attachment is equals to this and name will be image.png and by the way guys you should add some image extension otherwise discord will never know if this is an image or not well they can know but yeah do it and then we are just gonna reply to our interaction reply and here we will use this files property and it is an array and we are gonna provide this image bam let's do node dot real quick and let's see what happens next uh, let me show you the discord okay i'm back oh my god the chat is so dead but anyways let's go to bots and let's just do slash canvas bang let's see how many errors okay so you can see the text is here the stroke text is here too but let me make it up let me add some font in it let me show you my visual studio code once more bam so we can add some font by doing this ctx dot font is equals to let it be bold font and size will be 80 pixels and let's use the impact font family because that is the only font family i know sadly but well we cannot help that let's go to discord once more and do slash canvas bam so you can see this time the stroke text it is in a limited area of 80 pixels and you can see the fill text is centered so you can see the middle part of the fill text is where the stroke text is started 
so you can see that's how we type text and stuff now i will teach you how to create images so for that we are first of all we are going to use this load image function well for now i will use the avatar of the user for that we will just do const avatar is equals to load image and there we will do interaction dot user uh, interaction dot user dot display how to type display display avatar url and dynamic will be false and format will be png okay guys so now there we have our image and by the way guys make sure it is an await we are using await and of course it should be an async function <clears throat> so now we have to draw this image so how will we do that so first of all let me remove this stroke text all right and let me do a small little thing let's change its axis to like uh, let me think to 670 and let's make the font 50 pixel so for creating image we just have to do ctx dot load the image sorry ctx dot draw image my bad draw image and the image will be this avatar <coughs> and the x axis will be so guys we i'm i'm gonna center the image so for that you know guys what we are going to do is we cannot use something like ctx dot image align well i don't think that we can do that let me see so we cannot do that but we have another option for that we can just do some simple maths so guys let us assume we have something of 10 centimeters and we need to center something of 2 centimeter what will we do well the position should be i guess uh let me think my maths is bad so let me show you an example so if we want to center it we should start the thing let let it be 3 centimeters so that the calculation is bit easier okay well if we need to center the image it should be at the 5 to 6 centimeter axis of that scale then it will be at the center for that we have one formula we will do canvas dot width divided by 2 and we will subtract it from our avatars width but we do not know what is the width of the avatar well to be honest we can just probably get it from here like by doing dot width but i'm just gonna add some custom width for that i will just do w is equals to 300 well instead of width let's just we are going to make it circular later on so let's just add diameter and diameter should be of 300 pixels so we will do 2 minus the i wonder if i type diameter dude i'm so stupid but anyways diameter divided by 2 so what we are doing here is if well i will show you tell you the math thing later on well to be honest i don't really think i need to tell you guys because i guess you already know it and if you do not then i don't think you will bother knowing it because why not <clears throat> so we are providing them the x axis and the y axis and now we have to provide the size for that we are just gonna do diameter comma diameter bang so this is the width and this is the height so that's how we create the images let me show you the example real quick let me open my discord and let's do slash canvas once more slash canvas i hope we are not going to okay i hope we are not going to get some weird error so you can see the images here now the thing comes how to make it circular so it is very easy we just have to make a circle around it and we have to clip the stuff let me show you how to do that so make sure you you are clipping you are adding this thing just before your image and you are not adding another thing after this okay so we will do ctx dot uh, start path what was it uh, ctx dot begin path and it is in a void function then we are going to do ctx dot arc <clears throat> so first of all we need to provide the x-axis it is in the dead center so we will do canvas dot width divided by 2 then canvas dot height divided by 2 will be its y-axis and the radius will be half of the diameter of course i to be honest dude i'm just expecting you guys to know simple maths because me and my friends know it and i know it since lot of years so it is just my thinking so start angle will be zero and then the end angle will be 2 multiplied by math dot pi so this is some radian related thingy if you do not know it you don't really have to know it because if you want to make a full circle you just do this shit and this is it this is pretty simple and then this thing come counterclockwise and stuff we do not really care about that because 
either true or false the circle will be same because we are creating a circle not a semicircle or an arc so now we will do ctx dot create path sorry close path my bad ctx dot close path so guys now we have to clip everything ctx dot clip so what happens now is it just clips all the stuff outside of this arc let me show you real quick all right let me open the discord thing discord and do slash canvas bam ah it sucks slash canvas please work already so you can see it is circular because it clipped all of the stuff from there so you can see now we can type loads of text we can change the font let me open visual studio code so we can change the font we can change the color we can add images and we can even clip the images and by the way guys it is pretty simple now if i make the diameter 500 the image will be of 500 pixels i mean the diameter will be of 500 pixel let me open discord once more slash canvas and of course it is going to do that once and let's see bang so you can see the size increased it is pretty simple now i guess you all know the basics of canvas because now you can change the font you can type text align text and by the way guys uh, i guess this is it and you can draw image you can send the images too and if you guys want to know anything more about canvas just message me i will do that for you and next video <laughs> sorry guys well i'm really sorry for the voice because uh, the situation is kind of bad but anyways next video will be on mongoose probably and sooner or later i will upload a video on discord ticket system thing okay thanks a lot for watching bye